<laughs> All right, so we're here at King of the Hammers. I'm here with my main man, Brandon from Falcon. He's taking us to go see this really, really, really wild Willie's build. So there's tons of rad off-road shit here, as you could imagine. This thing that we're about to go see is a cut above the rest, I guess you could say. I'm not trying to, I'm, this yeah. sounds yeah. cheesy, but it's it sounds super rad. I haven't seen it yet, but. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, run, run me through what we're going. What this is, is uh, my buddy Ian, he loves flat fenders, the old military flat fender Jeeps. And he decided to build his own, but it's a two to one scale. So it's twice the size, it's eight feet wide. Nice. 54 inch agricultural tires. And the whole thing's built, built by hand. It's got a four cylinder diesel in it. It's legit. I'm into this. We wanted to take a second to check out this vehicle that uh, our buddies from Falcon kept talking about because apparently it was super radical. Well, we just got here to said vehicle, and it is in fact super f***ing radical. This is the Big Willie. All right, so we have found the owner of the biggest willy at the goddamn King of the Hammers 2020. I'm Andy, and how you doing, man? I'm really good. How are you? High five. Okay, first of all, this thing's badass. Thank so you. when we were told that this would be the vehicle we needed to see, we were kind of skeptical at first, and then when everybody rocked up, it was very clear that this is the baddest <laughs> vehicle here. First of all, is this is all hand built? Yeah. Hand built of uh, chassis, body, everything. Okay, and did you do all the fabrication? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. All the welding, everything. Everything. Hell yeah. All the metal fabric. How much time did it take you to do it? Uh, built it in about seven months. Okay. Started in uh, like late January, finished in August. I didn't take a day off for seven months, okay. every single day. Why do a two to one scale Willie? Uh, I just wanted to do something different, you know? And everybody's got a built JK out there. And uh, you know, I was inspired by by Burning Man. I've been going to Burning Man for nine years in a row now, and uh, just wanted to do something different. All right, so when we were walking around, I noticed a couple things, and one that you're using the uh, the 2.8 Cummins uh, four-cylinder in this. Yeah. So that's enough power to move this thing, because it's on, how big are these tires? 52. 52s. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. With this, with this, the little guy Cummins in here, right? Mm -hmm. And you got the 52s. What, what kind of like gear ratio do you have to run with this? Uh, well, it's 538s in the axles. Okay. Um, and it's it uses a 205 transfer case with a um, Magnum overdrive or a Magnum underdrive. Sorry. Okay. Which makes the transfer case output 533 to one low, but it runs just fine in high range down the street. I drive it on the road, it's street legal. Get out of here! Oh hell yeah! As far as axles, what are you running on this thing? Uh, they're uh, the Dana Builder Axle Program, Dana 60s. They're basically UD60 parts. What is it? What is a UD60? Ultimate Dana 60. Okay. They're generally most popular for uh, JKs. Okay. But the Builder Axle Program, they just send you parts in a crate and you put all the outers and uh, the whole axle together. Okay, cool. And I noticed you got a generator up front and I see all the LEDs and stuff run throughout here and yeah. there's a lot of like uh, goodies. But if, if we go under here, I mean, I see, a, we got speakers here. Yeah, I see speakers all the way around. And I see speakers in the cab. And then uh, I also noticed just now that you got uh, a couple Optima yellow tops. And by a couple, I mean four of them, <laughs> yeah. at least that I can see up four, under there. Uh, four yellows and then there's two reds in the front. What, what's the purpose of that? The, the yellow tops all run the car audio and the generator runs a, uh, like an RV battery charger. So we don't have to sit here and idle while uh you know while we got the music going and the lights on nice. generator will run over everything hell yeah <laughs> all right i dig it by the way i like this was one of my my favorite parts 
You got yeah. the pedal boosters. Everybody loves those blocks. So, do you ever have an issue with your legs kind of fitting under the steering wheel here? Because I noticed that's kind of... No, I mean, I don't really. Um, the steering column isn't really to scale as far as the placement up and down. If it was, it, the steering wheel would be way yeah. up high. So, But the steering wheel, the size of the wheel is to scale. Can we can we climb up in here? Yeah. Here, there. yeah. So, um, I don't know if you can notice, but we are a good... I was at about, about three feet apart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting here in the passenger seat. Uh, the one thing I like about this thing is it makes you feel like a child. Yeah, it does for sure. And then you got plenty of room back here. Now, what's the propane for? Propane is for the uh, fire boosters off the top of the whips. Two 50-pound cylinders. So it's roughly 24 gallons of propane or so. Can we can we try that yeah. out? Yeah. Want to light them? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. By the way. Just so you can have a scale, that's a normal Willys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's my uh, 48 CJ2A. Oh, okay, so it's yours. Yeah. Sick. It's two to one. It's quite a. It's, it's huge. It's huge. Hell yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Hell yeah! Well, this thing's sweet, man. Thanks, brother. You think we can go for a little cruise? Yeah. All right, sure. let's do it. Yeah. Look at that efficiency. You notice it has rear steer? I did not know it had rear steer. Poke your head out. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. So this thing seems like it drives pretty casual. Yeah, I mean, it drives like anything else, really. Super simple to drive. Nice. So, how long ago did you build this? Uh, about 18 months ago. Oh, okay, so rel relatively new. Yeah. Going. How do you how do you uh, adjust the rear steer? Following this valve right here. Oh, okay. Nice. All oh, right on. <laughs> that thing's sweet, man. I think uh, I think you should drive it. Not to hold the camera. I mean, I'm, I'm into that. If you're game. I am not going to turn that down. Hey. Uh. Just keep in four? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you definitely need the blocks. <laughs> yeah. See those uh, those two little buttons to your left there between the seat and the body? Hit those. Which ones? Both of them. Just hit them both. Oh, sick. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's so badass. <laughs> Dude, it's just so easy to drive. For such a big, just... Yeah. The tank of a willies. <laughs> this is way f***ing cool. This has definitely made my Amherst trip. The steering on this thing is incredible. Super easy, very light. Like, you can drive this easier than it drives a hell of a lot easier than most like road cars I've driven in that people have built. Actually, shit, it drives like a stock car. What's the uh, what's the steering in this thing? It's all uh, PSC. Okay. It's uh, uses the JK big bore box and uh, hydraulic assist. Nice. Well, hell yeah. All right, this takes a cake. This is the best, most well sorted. Whoa! Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> this is the coolest vehicle at Hammers 2020. You heard it here. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank this you. is this has been a great time. Thanks I appreciate you. Oh, we got more Willies. This Jeep just this this camp is just full of Willies. All right, there we go. Ha, 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 ha.